Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Today in my kitchen, Sid, I want to teach you how to make pinto beans. Do you eat pintos? No. Does your family? Mm, your dad does. Probably, yeah. Okay, listen. Listen. Sid's dad is my first cousin. We were raised eating at Granny's every single Sunday. Do you remember? Because I don't remember if she was already. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Granny had pintos on her table almost every Sunday because they were easy, they were cheap, and it was easy to make for her, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know, she stayed in the kitchen all day on Sunday. So here's what I'll tell you. Even if you don't eat them, this would be a good lesson for you for later in life. Great protein, okay? And if you'll eat them like I fix them, I'm you might sure. like them. I have taken a bag of dried pintos. You can buy them in the grocery store can if you already, well, you know, that are already cooked, mm -hmm. basically. So what we're gonna do is, I put these in the crock pot today so that they can cook all day, all right? They need to be pre-soaked for a little while. I washed them. Do you wanna touch them? No. They're, 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 no, I don't, I don't. Okay, look, they're, they're- Don't eat them. Okay, they're so hard that you can't eat them like, like this, okay? They've been dried. So we're gonna mm -hmm. put them under the water, which I already did and we're gonna let them rehydrate. Now, when they rehydrate, they're gonna puff up, okay? You've eaten refried beans, right? Like at a Mexican restaurant? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's similar to that. Uh, just so you know, just so you know for the future. But in this, we're gonna put some pork, okay? okay. This is salted pork, cured sliced, uncooked, cured sliced salt pork. Now, if you don't wanna handle this, I'm, I'm okay with handling it, okay. All right, cut, th cut that up and shove. And I washed my hands already. Well, I will thank you for that. But I'm going to make you eat these or either no, send some home with you. Anyway, we'll send some home to you, Daddy. Here's the thing. These beans have no flavor just like they are. They just don't. So we're going to put some flavor in them with this side meat, this pork meat. You know, I told you I could do this. It's okay. You can't hurt it. I put it in a plastic bag. But anyway, we want to put a big old piece of that in here. Because when I turn this up to high in this crock pot, it's gonna need some meat in there to season these beans. Does that make sense? Mm, I really wasn't listening. But you want them to have some flavor. Uh, flavor, flavor, okay? So let me see how that side of me looks like, baby. Oof. Just push, you push it all out right there. Cause we'll wash that. And then I'll put this in another bag. Okay, Sid, in old times, Oh, growing it's sliced. up, yes, in old times, growing up, Granny would take slices like that. Show it to the camera. Granny would take slices like this. Like bacon. She would fry them out crisp, and we would eat them off the stove. But you just, put it in here? yep, raw, just many? toss it in there. I would do two. This is a whole pack of beans, and then here's the other secret that I've learned over the years. What is this? Needs a little bit of sugar. So I just, I mean, literally, I'm gonna let you do it. Just a, like a tablespoon of shake, shake in there. A little more now, and then show it to the viewers. We're literally just putting like, not hardly a tablespoon. You can add more sugar later. If you taste the beans, you dump it, just dump it. It's all gonna get mixed together, sorry. Okay, so we have salt from the pork. We have sugar from the Tupperware canister, the handy dandy. And what we're gonna do is, oh, let's put a little bit of pepper. I like me some pepper, girl. So go on and get you a little pinch of pepper in there. Uh, maybe three pinches. Yeah. Yep. Maybe three. Yep. Another one? One more. Okay. So when these rehydrate, I will, I will turn this to high and I'll cook these bad boys. The key to making these really good and not losing their moisture throughout the day is you have to cover them again with some water after they rehydrate because they're going to start soaking up this water. I'll show you. I'm them. not eating this. <laughs> you won't even taste it? You I'm not. Some no, cha -cha? No. Okay, listen. I'm going to send some to her daddy at least because mm -hmm. I know he likes some. It's great protein. Sid's in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. I'll show a picture of it when it's done. Okay? Shall we make something that I like next? Yep. Yeah, what, like what? Macaroni or something? <laughs> go, go I like the craft. Go look in the pantry. Look in the pantry. See what we got. See y'all.